Plantar fasciitis is inflammation of the plantar fascia, a dense band of fibrous tissue that extends from the bottom of the heel bone, known as the calcaneus, and runs forward into the base of each toe where they meet the metatarsal bones. It's the main support mechanism for the arch of the foot. It attaches to the middle of the heel bone and divides into five sections, like the shape of a glove, as it progresses toward the forefoot. Plantar fasciitis is often associated with heel spurs, which are protrusions or bumps that develop along the edge of the heel bone. The term heel spur and plantar fasciitis are often used interchangeably, but although they're closely related, they're not the same thing. Heel spurs occur as part of the body's response to inflammation of the plantar fascia. They're not always painful, but if they protrude into the plantar fascia, they can cause irritation and contribute to heel pain. Pain from plantar fasciitis is most often described as a stabbing or burning pain, and it's often likened to a hot nail being driven into the inside of the heel. It's most often noticeable in the morning when you initially get out of bed and take your first few steps. That's because the plantar fascia has been relaxed and contracted during the night while the foot has been resting in a plantar flexed position. That's when your toes are pointed downward. As you step out of bed and your foot dorsiflexes, the toes point upward, uh, that causes the fascia to stretch and become irritated all over again. The pain does diminish once you've been walking or exercising for a while. Plantar fasciitis is thought to develop as the result of repeated small tears in the plantar fascia that occurs when your foot strikes the ground. These small tears can result from being on your feet for extended periods, simple overuse of the foot, or from sudden rapid increase in physical activity. Faulty biomechanics, such as overpronating or having high arches and being overweight, can contribute to plantar fasciitis tears too, as can wearing poorly designed shoes and some diseases, such as arthritis and diabetes, may predispose some people to plantar fascia tears leading to plantar fasciitis. Inserts that provide aggressive arch support and a slight heel lift help lessen the stress on the plantar fascia and reduce the possibility of inflammation. If you're an overpronator, inserts can help prevent your feet from turning excessively while simultaneously supporting the arch area and promoting proper biomechanics. The best way to ensure that your feet are optimally protected is to employ an integrated approach to the proper selection and fitting of padded socks and shoes. Wear only padded socks with shoes that have non-slip out soles and any inserts or orthotics that may be prescribed by your doctor or recommended by another foot health professional. Peer-reviewed published studies have even shown that wearing clinically tested padded socks help prevent injuries to the skin and the soft tissues of the foot by effectively reducing the pressure and shearing forces that distress the feet, where aches, pains, soreness, and other problems can occur. It's also important to select shoes that are biomechanically well-designed and have few seams or raised areas that could cause pressure points or rub the skin. And of course, the aggressive inserts that are compatible with properly fitting footwear is the key to dealing with this foot condition. Conservative treatment of plantar fasciitis is usually recommended. Recovery from plantar fasciitis may take up to six to nine months, and in some cases, anti-inflammatory injections may be needed to calm the symptoms. A relatively recent and potentially successful treatment method for particular difficult cases of plantar fasciitis is extracorporeal shockwave therapy. And if all else fails, your doctor might suggest a surgical solution. Never hesitate to talk with your doctor if you have soreness, pain, redness, swelling, or other indications of problems in any area of your feet that persist for more than a few days.